which I stopped in the previous session. We were just discussing about uh, the substitution cache, where uh, substitution cache is a concept of uh, maintaining some kind of dynamic information within the web form when the total form has been cached. And uh, this is a new thing which is introduced in ASP.0.2.0. And uh, to achieve this particular substitution cache, I said that we need to take the support of substitution control. And uh, later we just discussed about the data cache where uh, we just observed like how to set the cache and how to use this particular caching and all. That's what we just observed it. And um, <coughs> later we just observed a concept called as cache dependency. Now, once we work with the cache dependency concept which was introduced in uh, ASP.NET 1.x, what happens is the dependency is not directly on the database and all. The dependency is on uh, a file. If you try to modify the contents of the file, my system will assume that uh, the data present in the database table has been updated. So it will try to uh, kill the particular cache and again it will try to get back the data from this thing. So in this way it will try to process. From ASP.NET 2.0, we got a new concept called as SQL Cache Dependency. It is used to set the cache based on the database. Note then, the SQL Cache Dependency works effectively with SQL Server Database. And one more thing we need to remember is, if SQL Server 2000 is used, then the cache will get expired if any table level modifications are performed. and cache will be maintained the same okay and the cache will be maintained the same if any row level modifications are performed meaning this if you update the data with this present in SQL Server 2000 uh, table and all what happens is it won't try to update the cache and all if any table level modifications are done, then it will try to kill the cache. That we need to understand. And uh, when you talk about this particular uh, cache, it works very effectively. Okay, it works very effectively if SQL Server 2005 or but then it works very effectively if SQL Server 2005 or above versions are used. So in case if you work with a SQL Server 2000 or above versions, then we can take the support of this concept. Okay. That's what we need to understand. Okay, now let's try to check it out how you can just set the cache. To set the SQL Okay, to set the SQL cache dependency what you need to do is SQL cache dependency some SQL cache dependency object. You need to specify the SQL cache dependency. And you need to pass a SQL command object. And when you say to say insert that particular cache, you need to specify the key. You need to specify the value and the SQL cache dependency. OK, 
okay this is what we need to perform here okay so this is what we need to perform once it has been then what happens is the caching will be set directly based on this information itself okay now let's try to continue further with what are the things we can just do with this thing so I just try to add a new web form <coughs> okay I would like to add a new web form and uh, the design part I try to take the support of the previous design which we have uh, used it okay so I just take the previous design itself okay fine so once we have done this particular task now what I try to do is let's try to code it after all the using statements that are available using system dot data dot SQL client. Okay, I'm using system dot data dot SQL client, and uh, now what I try and also this since this particular application is going to use the caching, I say system dot web dot caching. Okay, using system dot web dot caching. Here, what I try to do is page load. So for example, I create a data view, some DV, and uh, wait a sec. DV equal to, I just simply say data view of, say for example, cache of my SQL data. Some particular key name I'm just mentioning and I just try to verify if the data view values equal to a null value or is if it is equal to a normal value so if it is equal to null then whatever we need to do over we try to do over connection equal to new connection I say configuration manager dot connection strings of I guess the database CS is our connection string I just pass it and if you just observe it uh, I was trying to set the cache for the data view but uh, according to the syntax which I just given here the syntax is based on the SQL command object 